Well, I just left class about five minutes early and my front screen is still broken, so that's why there's a glare. But I am heading out to my pre-op appointment, which, I mean, it's not really a pre-op because I already had that appointment. He just wants to go ahead and do the marking on my chest to get all the marks where he wants them. And then they actually called me when I was on the way to school. And when they called me, I kind of had like a meltdown. I'll be honest because when I first started um, this, um, like taking the date that opened up to do the surgery, they told me that I would be going between 6 and 8 a.m. And they called me and said that my appointment time to show up was 10.30 and I've been nervous and sick all day, and I know that tomorrow morning I'm going to be super restless tonight, and all morning I'm just going to be sitting there, first of all, starving to death, because 10.30 is way later than I thought it was going to be, and I can't eat past midnight, but I'm going to be sitting around all morning just completely nervous, and I'm nervous about that, and so Tyler can no longer take me to surgery because he has to be at work at 8.30, so my friends that are taking care of me are going to take me and they have promised to come over early and keep my mind off of it. So I'm just feeling more nervous now knowing that the surgery is so late tomorrow morning and I don't know, it's going to be okay. I'm going to talk to him about how I'm feeling as soon as I get there, but I have to go because um, I'm like already a few minutes behind. Okay, um, I'm home. I'm having you know, chest pain. It's, it's not funny, but like, I've been home a few hours and I just laid the twins down at 7.15 and I'm just feeling a lot of anxiety. This is like the same thing I felt before years ago. But anyway, um, when I had my rhinoplasty, I felt this exact same way the night before. Almost worse than this though. Um, the fact that I'm going at 10.30 tomorrow morning is really kind of messing me up, knowing that I can't eat after midnight. <laughs> and 10.30 is a long time. And knowing that I'm going to be up by about 6.30 or 7 with the twins. And that's like three and a half hours till the surgery. Plus the time that you sit in there waiting for them to get the IV and the medication started. So I'm just really... I'm just trying to breathe, but I have a lot to do around the house. I still have stuff to clean. I'm going to do all of my prep work and stuff tonight for tomorrow that I need to have submitted um, by tomorrow. I'm going to go ahead and get it done tonight. So hopefully I'm tired enough at the end of cleaning and everything to go to sleep. Okay, this bag and this bag, um, this has the sports bras in there. I'm bringing two. I brought a size large and a size extra large. And then all the medication is in this bag right here. And I'm just going to walk in with um, these two probably in a small little purse or something. This is what I'm actually going to wear to the surgery tomorrow. Just an oversized extra large button up shirt. Um, what in the world was that? It's a leaf. Um, um, plain Victoria's Secret leggings and then <laughs> these prison shoes. <laughs> That's what Tyler called him when he saw him the first time. He was like, what in the world are those? But, um, y'all, this hair. <laughs> um, but I'm wearing those because I got, they're like $9 at Target, y'all. They were super cheap. And I honestly just wanted them because I wanted something that was easy to slide on and off. And most of my, like, sandals have a back to them and they said like straight up slip on. I don't own Crocs or anything like that. And I have flip flops, but I feel like flip flops aren't the smartest thing to walk in when you're just out of anesthesia because you're liable to trip on yourself. So um, I'm also gonna show you guys the bras that I got for um, post. 
Okay, I have um, one, two packed. I have this exact bra right here in black packed. It is just the front, um, uh, what do you call those? Like, um, the hoop closures, is that what you call those? Sorry, my desk is like a nightmare. But I have this one in black, this is a size large. And then I have one that looks just like this, that is a, this is not a good angle. This isn't much better either, but whatever. Uh, this one in, um, this is a size large, but the one in the bag is an extra large because I have one large, one extra large packed. The one in the bag is an extra large. It's a leopard print. It's like a tan leopard print. These are the Avia brands that everyone told me to go buy from Walmart. They were $12, and these, I think, were like $6 on Amazon, and... I did buy this one too. I just so happened to be at Academy and I saw it. I'm going to zip it back up. This is also an extra large and it is the brand. I've never even heard of this brand. I don't even know what the brand is, y'all. I'm really sorry, but they're at Academy. It was $19.99 BCG. That's the brand. And it's, I know that white probably isn't the best idea for post-op if you don't want to ruin it. But, um, it has, like, this texture, kind of, if you guys can see that. This is also an extra large. Um, this one is super comfortable, and it's really high up. So, during the post-op period, especially when I'm swollen and their implants are sitting more up high, this will be really good to wear after a couple of days, because it will cover that. The other ones are more low, so um, like I said, I did pack one large and then one. Is someone mowing their lawn? Um, so I have five bras, um, three larges, two extra larges, because I will be swollen at first. I'm not really sure what size I'm going to be. Pajama wise, a friend of mine actually went to a Sam's Club and bought me these black and pink um, pajamas. They are a short set. They are buttoned down and I really, really liked them. That was very sweet of her. And then I saw this set at Target. I have to wash both of these tonight too. I just realized I got, I love this um, pattern. It's like a um, silky, it's a satin pajama set and it comes with a sleep mask. I'm just looking at how ridiculous my hair looks. It comes with like a little, um, the sleep mask because um, I don't know why not like why not just <laughs> go all out it was only 25 bucks for this set at Target I don't know how much the other ones cost but um, I actually really really like both of these and they're buttoned down and I have a couple of buttoned down ones I wanted to make sure I had at least three pairs I think I have five um, I already owned two or three of them um, I just didn't realize that I owned that many button-ups, I guess, because the issue is going to be lifting my arms. I think one of the hardest parts about the recovery is supposed to be the fact that you have trouble lifting your arms past like this much. So doing the button-up is going to be the best option for me. And... I had a feeling you'd come back and save me. From all those lonely nights and heartbreaks And I feel misplaced without you Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to Never wanted to end it like we did I guess shit happens for a reason But it's like something feels different from back then Why don't we go back to Why don't we go back to since the day of surgery um it's friday i had surgery on wednesday and honestly it's so weird to this phone up um honestly the first night and next day i felt so good but then last night i started feeling horrible and this morning i feel absolutely horrible um I was warned that the second day post-op would be the worst day. 
and that's kind of where I'm at. I feel like I just cannot get a deep breath in, which is the worst. Um, I cannot even pull up my pants up and down on my own, which is awful. But I have really wonderful friends and a support system that helps me. Um, but I just want to update you with you guys on how things are going. Um, I'm taking, I've been taking the muscle relaxer every six hours. And I haven't really needed the pain medicine until this morning. I needed it because I just felt like complete crap. And now it's kicked in a little bit. But I plan on staying in bed all day. Yesterday I had my post-op appointment. And he was telling me that there's a lot of bruising underneath. So he had me go get some Arnica gel to put on there. And to do some ice packs on the bottom part. So that's what I'm going to be doing today is icing on and off just to keep that swelling down. Um, I can definitely feel that swollen. The pain has now moved to the side and down my arms and shoulders and up my neck, which I didn't expect anything to travel that far, but the pain is migrating. Even the back of my head hurts. So um, this is how I sleep at night, just like this. Um, I just lean my head over because I cannot sit straight up. And he said he was fine with how I was sleeping. So, um, so far so good. Hey guys, um, today is three days past procedure. I'm in Anna syndrome right now, so that's why you see this uh, background, because my house, um, Tyler is pressure washing it, and he's in the back by the um, master bedroom right now. So, I came in here to give you guys like today's update, and um, today's better than yesterday. Still feeling lots of tightness, lots of fullness, um, a lot of the paresthesia, the tingling, like sharp pains from the nerves reconnecting. So that's not fun, but it's already a little better than yesterday. So I'm hoping that maybe we're kind of going to be gradually getting better after this point. Um, I do want to tell you guys about um, what I'm doing in the mornings. Um, I have been doing protein shakes in the morning for breakfast. Just because when I wake up in the morning, I can barely move. I'm just so stiff because you literally have to sleep sitting up. And I kind of sleep a little bit at an incline to the right or the left. Just because I'm usually a stomach sleeper. And that's kind of been like the most dreadful part of this whole recovery. Is trying to sleep sitting straight up. Like it's just, it sucks. And in the morning, I just feel like I've been tensed up all night long. So, protein is the best thing to promote healing. I don't think that it's necessarily going to help me feeling stiff just because I just don't sleep sitting up. I'm, I, I'm used to being like flat on my stomach. But um, I've been using my level one formula from uh, First Form. I've showed you guys their protein I don't know how many times now. The ones that I've shown you guys before have been for during or post-workout. This is the protein that you use as a meal replacement. So this is what I've been having for breakfast since having the surgery. It's literally the best tasting protein. It's hard for me to pick favorites, but in the meal replacement um, protein, the ice cream sandwich one is my favorite. All their flavors are so good. But this one, y'all, it literally tastes like an ice cream sandwich. No bad aftertaste. It's not chalk. It tastes so good. And I get my water on super cold. And then I put this in there. And ugh, it's just like straight up melted ice cream. It's so hard for me to explain it. But this is a sustained release. So it releases over a period of time. So this is kind of what I've been looking at and gearing myself towards. Because they have, for one, they have just the best. You guys know how much I love them. Because I talk about them as much as I possibly can without annoying you guys. But highly recommend something like this if you're going to be going through a recovery anytime soon because you're getting your 24 grams of protein in there and you're not having to move. I literally had the shaker bottle. I put the scoop into my shaker bottle and then I have water right beside it so I can literally just pour the water in and shake it and drink it when I wake up. And it's just the best and I don't feel sick afterwards. Um, the best, you guys. They have it in stock right now because I just checked. So I'll link it down below for you guys. I just love this one for meal replacement. I don't do a ton of meal replacement, but I'm so thankful to have it right now. And now that I realized and remember how much I love it, I probably will keep doing it for breakfast just because it's super, super easy. 
and I'm not hungry afterwards. I don't know if that's because of the medication or because I wouldn't be hungry afterwards anyways. So it might be cutting down on me feeling hungry. Um, I'll let you guys know for sure about that whenever I'm out of recovery and off these meds. But I'm telling you guys, if you don't have a meal replacement protein, if you're on the go, if you're in recovery, this is the one, the ice cream sandwich. There is nothing better than this one it's literally so good and i've done it with milk a couple times too and it's even better with milk so if you are a milk person you want to milk you want to mix your protein with milk y'all this is it this is the one so um i don't know how i'm about to get up i just laid like almost all the way back I want to get back to my regular vlogs and um, just show you guys kind of what's going on with the house and a ton of questions about the house tour and when it's coming. Um, my semester ends in um, nine or ten days. I think it's nine days. So I will have the house tour after that. It sounds like the side of the house is coming off from that pressure washer. I hope you guys can, cannot hear all that noise. Um, but I will have the house update up soon after that. So around two weeks or so, um, I just can't overdo it. So I don't want to be recovering for longer, but I definitely will have it up for you guys in my semester break.